Hey guys, so I know I said I was done and um, wasn't going to trade anymore, um, but when I looked at uh, NXPI, uh, if you recall from <laughs> from part uh, one of this video, uh, I said it looks like it was going to make a, a reversal play, um, and the reason for that is, if let's see here, so if we're looking at the 15 minute mark, um, it's pretty much been holding this level the $87 level. Uh, I think I made a, a, a short on that and then um, when it lost that level and then it quickly popped back up, I exited. Uh, so what I did here is I um, pretty much took a, um, I forgot how many shares, I think uh, 1,500 shares um, long. So I, I, I started with a, 500 share thinking that this will pop up on the one minute because um, the EMAs crossed it did not it dropped uh, I added to my position um, and I thought about exiting um, the stock but it really was very strong at the um, 87 dollar level it actually uh, pretty much remained uh, at that level uh, for the past hour when I entered uh, the the trade um, and so what I did was, uh, it's slightly risky, but um, like I said, I had uh, trust in the, um, I had trust in the uh, long-term uh, trend. Um, and also, let me see if I have this too. Uh, one second here. So if we look at the daily level as well. Um, so, the stock basically bounced off the 87.15 uh, level uh, one, two, three, three days. So today's the fourth day uh, of it uh, doing that. Um, and so um, what I did was I actually went long. Uh, I kept my position. I set a stop loss at uh, 86.85. So just basically at the tail end of this uh, bounce. Uh, knowing that if it loses the 87 level, the stock is just going to tank. Um, but there's a chance that it was going to go up. Uh, so I set my, at, at this point in time, uh, VWAP was at around 87, uh, 70, oh, no, no, around 88, uh, 87, 80, or, or somewhere around 87, 80, uh, around there. So I set my uh, exit slightly below that um, just to be conservative so 87.75 um, was my exit um, and I actually went to the gym uh, I let the stock run because uh, I set my uh, stop loss and then I set my exit uh, point already um, so uh, basically what happened is I, I um, exited with a $565 gain so for a total gain of uh, $812 um, 35 tickets uh, 56.80 in, uh, in commission so um, overall, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy with my read uh, on the stock. If anything that I would have done differently is I probably would have uh, waited um, uh, and just wait for more confirmation because if you look at the 15 minute again, let's go back to the 15 minute. It By this time, uh, I would probably have entered at uh, 12.30. Um, at, at the 12.30 mark, I would have entered because... At this point, um, it's been here for one hour, two hour, two and a half hours. Uh, it's bound for a reversal play. And as you can see here, that's exactly what it did. Um, and in fact, it kept running up. If I was here, I would probably have held some shares for uh, exit at the top here. But overall, this is a very, very good sign for a, uh, a, a reversal move. Um, so I was a premature in my entry, but the stock was gapping down the whole day. Um, it, it started out short uh, pre-market and it dropped, let's see, 88. So buck 50, um, I forgot what the average true range is for, for the stock, but that's about the average true, true range. Um, I think it's about a dollar or something. Um, let's, let's see what trade ID is tells me the average true range is. Let's see here, hold on. Um, be interesting to know, NXPI. 
Oh no, the average true range is uh, two dollars and eighty six cents. Um, so if it started at eighty nine, actually, yeah, eighty nine sixty two to eighty seven um, about eighty seven dollars. So that's about two dollars um, and eighty six cents. So. Yeah, it's fluctuating around its average true range. So it was at the bottom end of the average true range. So um, it, was, it was bound for a, uh, a rebound. Um, anyway, so I just want to add this to the recap um, and, um, and talk about it.